350,000 wind turbines is about one and a half times as many as have been built in the world since governments started pouring consumer money into this so-called industry in the early 2000s. And as Lord Ridley said, quote, at a density of very roughly 50 acres per megawatt, typical for wind farms, that many turbines would require a land area greater than the British Isles, including Ireland, every year. And as he said, if we kept this up for 50 years, we would have covered every square mile of land area the size of Russia with wind farms. Well, enter Michael Schellenberger to address this apocalyptic nonsense, which is damaging us all. Michael Schellenberger was a world-renowned environmental activist for 20 years. In his book, Apocalypse Never, Why Environmental Alarm, this on your screens there, magnificent read this and easy to read, Why Environmental Alarmism Hurts Us All, Michael Schellenberger apologised in July 2020 for, quote, the climate scare we have created over the past 30 years. Of climate change, Michael said, quote, it's not even our most serious environmental problem. He wrote, once you realise how badly misinformed we've been, it's hard not to feel duped. Well, Michael Schellenberger is a former Democratic candidate for office in California. And just on that, last October, Michael Schellenberger released his latest book, San Francisco, Why Progressives Ruin Cities. Extraordinary read. It's about housing, homelessness and drugs. And he's called on California to declare a state of emergency. Even as a former Democrat candidate for office in California, he argues that Democrats have allowed all of this to fester in their cities. But back to this national economic suicide note, climate change. It's lovely to talk to Michael Schellenberger again, and he joins me. Michael, thank you for your time. Uh, why are we so dumb? Why are we, to use your words, badly misinformed? And how have we been duped? Well, thanks. It's great to be with you. And I look forward to uh, being in Sydney uh, with you next month. I, I think it's fair to say that apocalyptic environmentalism has become the dominant religion of so-called secular people. We are People are treating nature as a kind of victim god that has to be, on the one hand, harmonized with through renewables, but also is punishing us with climate change. So it's a completely superstitious mythology. It's taking us a very dangerous path. We can see that uh, we now know that solar panels and batteries are mostly made by incarcerated Uyghur Muslims in China. We've seen the dangers of becoming dependent on a totalitarian regime. Europe is in the worst energy crisis in 50 years because it was seduced by Vladimir Putin. Well, now the risk is that by becoming dependent on renewables, we're going to become dependent on China. I think a few data points are important here. Uh, California has tried to move to renewables over the last decade. In truth, we produce 10% less of our electricity from zero carbon energy sources because we've had less rain for the hydroelectric dams and also because we shut down nuclear power plants. Over that same period, we saw electricity prices rise sevenfold more than they did in the rest of the United States. California now has the most expensive electricity in the world, and we are in the midst of the fourth night of power outages in California. They're having a hard time keeping the lights on. All of the promises they told us about batteries and solar panels turned out to be a gigantic lie. 